Okay, even Jimmy himself was blown away by how awesome Emma Stone was in their lip sync battle. And that viral video has more than 25 million hits. It's actually Jimmy's most watched ever. A lot of hidden talent with the big stars <laughs> today. And you know, he keeps turning out these videos. Another great video week after week. And it's just one of the secrets behind the rise of Jimmy Fallon, the subject of tonight's Power Profile. We are about to play Box of Lies. Meet it, meet it on the wall. Most nights, Fallon's number one with about four million viewers. On YouTube, more than a billion views. Jimmy knows getting his skits to go viral is key to getting people to watch him on their actual TV. People are, are kind of expecting that you know, once a week or something, he will have something that nobody else has that's completely fresh, and they're anticipating it and looking forward to it. And uh, boy, that's what you need in television now. Another key to his viral success, allowing the stars to show off skills other than acting, whether it's Paul Rudd lip syncing to Freddie Mercury, or Will Ferrell drumming away. It's really smart for these celebrities to you know, play along with the kind of ideas that the staff comes up with. It looks like they have a lot of fun doing it, and it's better than just coming on the show and, and, and being, you know, talking about your latest project or an anecdote. You at least see them doing something that they're talented at. The other reason celebs are so comfy with Jimmy, well, he's genuinely a nice guy and always has been. Take a look at a young Jimmy from our ET vault when he was just starting out on SNL. You meet all these people and you, it's just awesome. It's like, wow. Like, you kind of just got to keep your cool. And, Hi, how are you? And then you go in the men's room. And go, oh, my God! Jimmy doesn't want to have a confrontational show. They're not going to get questioned very tightly. And that might make the booking a lot easier. But he doesn't entirely avoid controversy. For example, he didn't grill Jonah Hill about his homophobic outburst back in June, but did allow him to openly apologize. Again, I just, I'm so sorry. I, I, I appreciate you actually uh, uh, being sincere and saying I didn't mean He's, got, he's the host of the Tonight Show for a reason. Taking the gentle approach seems to pay off. The guests keep coming. Even someone as dogged in the press as Lindsay Lohan. You must know I love you. I love you too. Right, here we go. One, two, don't look. Oh my but what matters most to Jimmy and the audience is entertainment, and that's what he delivers. Should we show him how we roll? Let's do it. Let's show him how we roll. 